Hello and welcome everyone to our interview preparation question and answer session. Today we will discuss some technical question and answers which is important for the interview of a marine electrical engineer. These question and answers will help you sharpen your skills. So let's start from the very first question, difference between electrical relay and a contactor. So the answer is an electrical relay is an electromagnetic device used to control the flow of electricity in a circuit, typically for switching purposes and low power applications. A contactor on the other hand is a high power electrical switch designed to handle larger current loads and is commonly used in industrial and commercial applications. So the next question is explain the principle of operation of the magnetic amplifiers of a light signaling device and the device protecting the electric motor against the load. So the answer is magnetic amplifier is a light signaling device use magnetic cords and control windings to regulate the flow of current. By varying the magnetic saturation, uh, they amplify or attenuate the signal, enabling precise control of the output light intensity. Electric motor overload production devices monitor motor current and disconnect power if it exceeds a set threshold, safeguarding the motor from damage. So the important question number three is explain the principle of operation of multi-vibrator of a light signaling device. And the answer is a multi-vibrator is a light signaling device operates based on the principle of oscillation between two stable states. It consists of two amplifying stages connected in a feedback loop. Each stage alternates between saturation and cutoff states resulting in a continuous generation of a light signals with a specific timing and frequency. So we have question number 4 which is also important. Explain how the production of generators against reverse power is organized. So the answer is reverse power production for generators is typically achieved through productive relays. These relays monitor the power flow and direction and activate when power is start flowing from the generator to the grid indicating a reverse power situation. Once triggered, the relays initiate actions such as stripping the generator or disconnecting it from the grid to prevent damage. Now the question number 5 we have explained how generator overload production is organized. So the answer is generator overload production is organized by implementing mechanisms such as current sensors, relays and circuit breakers. These components monitor the electrical load and automatically disconnect the generator if it exceeds its rated capacity, preventing damage and ensuring safe operation. Question number 6 we have is explain how electric motors are protected against unacceptable voltage reduction with a voltage relay. At what parameter of contactor is this production assigned to voltage relay? So the answer is Electric motors are protected against unacceptable voltage reduction using a voltage relay. This relay monitors the motor's supply voltage and triggers an alarm or trip action if the voltage falls below a predetermined threshold. The production is assigned to the voltage relay and based on parameters such as, such as the motor's rated voltage and acceptable voltage tolerance limits. The next question we have is explain the principle of operation of a ship insulation resistance monitoring devices. So the answer is ship insulation resistance monitoring devices measure the electrical resistance between the ship's electrical system and its hull. They operate on the principle that higher resistance indicate better insulation integrity. By monitoring resistance levels. These devices help detect potential insulation faults and prevents electrical hazards on board ship. So guys, we have another question. Explain the principles laid down in modern system for protecting motors against overload. So the answer we have is modern systems for protecting motors against overload are based on several principles. These in using thermal sensor to monitor motor temperature, setting appropriate current limit, employing motor production relay, motor production relays to detect uh, abnormalities.
utilizing electronic motor starters with built-in production features and implementing programmable logic controllers PLCs we all know to coordinate motor production action so yeah guys another question we have which is also uh, very important is explain how the motor is protected against overload by the traditional method and what are the disadvantage of uh, such production so the answer is the traditional method of protecting a motor against overload involves using a thermal overload relay. This device monitors the motor's current and temperature and disconnect power if it exceeds preset limit. However, the disadvantages of the method include slow response time, limited accuracy and the need for manual reset after a trip. Yeah, so another question we have is explain the need for motor overload production. Motor overload production is necessary to safeguard electric motors as we all know from excessive current and overheating. Now overloading can occur due to mechanical faults, overload fluctuations, voltage fluctuations sorry or increased load demand. The production devices such as thermal overloads or electronic relays detect excessive current and interrupt the power supply preventing motor damage and ensuring safety. So another important question is explain the principle of operation of the automatic power switching device UWP1. The UWP1 automatic power switching device operates based on the principle of detecting the primary power sources failure and, and swiftly transferring the load to an alternate power source. It uses sensors to monitor the voltage and frequency of the primary source and activates the switch to seamlessly transfer the load to the backup source when a failure is detected. So guys, we have another question is explain the principle of operation of the unified motor overload production device. The unified motor overload production device operates based on the principle of monitoring the current drawn by the motor and comparing it to a predetermined threshold. If the current exceeds the limit, the, the threshold indicating an overload condition, the device trips and disconnects power to the motor, preventing damage and ensuring safety. So uh, this question is also important and we, we, we all know that explain power factor in simple words. So the answer is power factor is a measure of the efficiency of the electrical power usage in a system. It represents the ratio between the real power which is used to perform work and, and the apparent power which includes both real and reactive power. High power factor indicates efficient energy consumption which while a low power factor signifies energy uh, wastage. So the last question we have and it's very important why seal air fan is used and where it is used and, and where is suction taken from. So the answer is seal air fans are crucial in ship system to prevent the entry contaminant into sensitive areas and maintain a positive pressure differential. They are commonly used in gas turbine enclosures, engine rooms and other critical spaces and suction is typically taken from clean filtered air sources outside the protected area. So these are some important questions I wanted to tell you if you are going for an interview as a marine electrical engineer if you have another question you can write in the comment below if you think this video is informative please like the video and share with your friends see you in the next video bye bye